What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello everyone, it is Neon Black Gaming here back in the YouTube video, and today we have part 3 of the Cannon Cart 2v2 Draft Challenge. So if you've not seen part 1 or part 2, highly recommend it. Some insanely close battles, 44 health left. Did I win? Did I lose? I don't know. I mean, obviously I won, but still, go check those out. Part 1 and part 2 will be in the description down below, and click on the top right corner with the I, um, and select the top 2 videos. If they're not there, just tell me in the comments down below, and I'll be happy to link you to them. But anyway, we're going to jump right in. Um, if you need help about this challenge, just, just watch along, and I'll help you through um, so far. We're 6 0, so whatever I'm doing is working very well. Okay, so we're gonna either have Goblin Barrel or Miner. Uh, Goblin Barrel is very good for chips, so I might as well take it. We got a Mortar, kind of dirty. Expo, I'll take it for sure. Super dirty. Um, definitely gonna take those E Barbs to shred whatever he has. The Bomb Tower is gonna be an issue, but we do have a Rocket to take it out if necessary. Um, but we have a very versatile deck. We got versatility there. Versatile. What are you doing? What are you doing? That is, what are you doing? No, please don't just give this away. If you're losing purposefully, I'll be incredibly annoyed. Oh my goodness, please don't just be losing purposefully. That would be super annoying and really, really bad. Um, I mean, the defensive mortar A is doing something. Uh, but okay, we're going to have to do... I, if this guy is losing purposefully, I don't really know what to say. Uh, that would just be super, super, super annoying. Um, luckily, the Musketeer does oh, almost lock onto the tower. We're going to go log that back. And can we get some Spear Gobs in time? Uh, yes, we can. Oh, that was close. Um, and the Bandit almost takes out the Miner there. Good value um, on the log. But we didn't take any damage onto that right side. So if you're watching this and you're purposely losing these battles because you've already won it, and ruin it for other people just don't do that why would you stick a mortar in the back um last last episode at least a guy stuck a mortar okay not good not good we're gonna go e barbs to counter all that stuff um okay he's not purposely losing he's actually trying to play well um but he's he's not trying hard enough or maybe that his best is not good enough i mean why would you stick a mortar there i'm not really sure um but we're, we are getting a little bit of damage onto his tower it's not it's not the end of the world yet uh but it's definitely close Hopefully that Mortar can finish off the E-Wiz. Come on, shoot it, shoot it. There you go, good job, Mortar. Um, I can't tell if the Mortar is good or bad, but we have the full Siege deck here. And now there goes the Golem. I did not even know we had that. Uh, that could be a game breaker for the other team uh, because Golems have put down. You have to, you cannot ignore them at all. They're incredibly strong. If they get to the tower, their explosion damage is just 300 alone. Uh, so you cannot let that go. So the Rocket, don't Rocket that. Okay, we're good. Um... Now it's okay to rock it, because obviously you got the value there at the Ice Wizard. Um, Musketeer had that weird glitch. Yes, we can take out the Princess. We're going to go Spear Gobs there. Um, and there comes a... Uh, come on, take out the Ram. Take out the Ram. Don't put something in there, buddy. Take out the Ram. Take out the Ram. Good job. Uh, now we're going to have to go with a quick Expo, just to see if we can expose him a little bit there. You guys saw that low-key pun. Um, and it's going to lock onto the tower. Is it? Is it or is it not? I don't know. Uh, we're going to go Executioner, which don't get stuck in that Bomb Blast. Um, and it does, which is very unfortunate. It does not look like we're going to take this win at all. Um, at least like we can change this around incredibly quickly. Uh, so now we're going to go with some just random pushes here. We're going to go here and here, Goblin Barrel and E-Barbs. Um, and we're just going to go log that down. Maybe this clutch push can take. No, cannot. Uh, that does look like it is going to be our first loss ever. Uh, but one loss isn't going to hold us back. It takes three losses to get out as long as you have two um as long as you don't have three losses you're still in the game um and that is looks like it is going to be game yes it is um oh that's unfortunate i think just kind of the beginning of the play where they I put the mortar in the back wasn't the best he just didn't seem like he was playing his hardest um a good way to check who your teammate is is you click here then you click there and you click profile oh he's arena nine so not too bad um and that's how you can check so one loss not the best way to start off the episode but a it doesn't matter Okay, RG is good. I'm going to wait to see what we have um, based off what the teammate selects. Okay, Cannon Cart. It's always good to see. Okay, E-Wiz. Um, let's see. Okay, nothing yet that can counter an RG. Uh, do they have a lot of air damage? No, they don't. I'm going to take the Lava Hound. So that's a good thing to do there. Um, Ram, super annoying to deal with, so I'm taking it. And they have arrows, so we're going to take the fire spirits and then rocket poison obviously we're gonna take 
the rocket because we already have a poison um, and you don't want them rocketing you down that's the worst thing you're like oh I can win I have 600 health left I can defend perfectly fine and then you see a rocket coming down and then you lose the game you don't want that to happen to you so that's why you take the stuff we're gonna have double lava hound um, I like it I like it. it's different but hey no double lava hound could be good um, and he's playing it in the right spot too he knows what he's doing um, this should be a good game let's see what does the opponent have we already know what half the cards are um, so we're gonna stick a, a battle ram in the back they have double cannons um, so that should be interesting and the cannons remember only target the ground no they have the bomb tower ah I dislike bomb tower a lot um, because we have the ram and that is gonna do work against us so we're gonna have to somehow defend um, other ways and get damage other ways so that cannon cart is gonna lock onto the tower uh, perfectly fine though we should be okay the executioner will pose a couple problems so we're gonna stick a bomb tower just right in the middle there hopefully it can take out the archer perfect um, now it's gonna go move on to that knight so luckily we have a good defensive structure which is the bomb tower it's perfect for this um, I mean it's super super solid super strong and a very very uh, good card to have in general because it can defend almost anything even can defend you know a couple balloon shots uh, which in endgame could be incredibly important uh, hopefully that minor and goblin barrel combo will do some good work and he arrows everything down right away um, maybe the the poison would be good right now I hope we can take all the skeletons out though because they would do incredible work um, we're going to stick a Lumberjack right in the mix of those, so hopefully it can slash down everything, and it actually does. So we're going to stick Fire Spirits. This could be a little bit risky, but if they can jump fast enough, look at that. Oh, they almost got there. Now, that could have been good um, if they got to the tower. So we're going to have to defend these. Come on, get those guards down. Get those guards down. Those guards, come on, get those down. Uh, that was maybe, maybe, okay, I guess it was a good decision there. Um, I was afraid the E-Wizard was going to lock, um, and it was going to get a ton of damage, which it got decent damage, but um usually i just put the guards down first because that hut isn't good i don't know why we have it maybe they gave it to us instead of the tombstone but we're gonna have to switch it up so you know what we're gonna go for the right side i don't know maybe it will help sometimes you gotta just throw the rule book away and just see what can happen so we're going double lava hounds on both sides split pushing it um maybe that'll be the key to success <clears throat> oh that's not good um at all that's very bad we're gonna have to somehow take all that stuff out um and win at the same time that it could be the second loss already super unfortunate if we come to that um but ah we're gonna just rock it because i have nothing to play um and we're gonna have to build up some sort of push here to be able to take a tower within 20 seconds not likely at all um you never know what can happen though so we're gonna just play our best and see what we can do there okay oh get some good damage there from the goblin barrel but we're gonna just say good game and well played they just outplayed us overall in that game nothing we could do about it no one played poorly just maybe the deck choices wasn't as good as possible um really the balloon posed the biggest issue and i think the hut really wasn't the best choice uh unless they gave it to us then it does not matter Whew, two losses start off the episode not good we gotta get the cannon card we gotta get the eight wins though okay scar army's good um we're gonna take that lightning spell all the time balloon cannon cart let's see what, what are they gonna choose we got to see here um because if they have a lot of air damage there's no point okay that's a decent amount of air damage that's two fireballs for them what is the last card going to be it is come on choose the last one i just want to see we got double lightning on our side that's good for chip um okay hog rider lava hound balloon for sure because then we can have a nice push um and we're gonna take the uh musketeer because that is a good air defense card and the um it's not as squishy as a dark oven which can go down to logs and and miners pretty easily okay nice this is very solid we got a tesla defensive tower um uh really 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 good all-around deck okay that was weird what do you have to counter that stuff bowler just put a bowler there please put a bowler oh my goodness do something okay giant skeleton uh is actually a very good choice in that situation uh, because it will be able to defend a lot of stuff and he's gonna have to counter it with something if that gets to the tower It's gonna do work um, and it looks like it actually might it might be in range I think that's in range that could be a big mistake. He just played there um, I think he actually might have played himself and boom. Oh so close to getting to that tower now That was good. So now we're actually gonna stick a quick balloon down um, And that cannon cart is literally just sitting there is please get me to the tower um, And just sitting there I can't do a lot Come on, Balloon, get there. Let's go, Balloon. Nice, and the Balloon does get off a shot, which is good. I'm glad I chose it because it's ending up being to pay off very well. And then we're going to sneak in a couple of Fire Spirits if possible. Hopefully, the Lava Hound goes to the left side. Um, 
I'm going to lightning spell that down for some nice profit on the tower. Not profit, but some good damage. Um, and now we're gonna he's gonna go hog so we're gonna go here with the quick skarmy um, Oh, no, come on just before he can zap. Oh nice well played there um, On that E was not too hard of a play But a good one so that the skeleton army does stay alive which forces him to counter it um, Which does eventually make us take out the tower because the E was is oh almost taken out that tower there um, Can a cart we're gonna go stick lumberjack to counter it a little bit late there. You have to learn the range on it um not really sure about it. It does not look like it changes targets when you put it down and it dies. I'm talking about the cannon cart. So maybe you have to zap it to change targets or maybe you can't. I'm not sure about that. Look at that lumberjack, by the way. Doing incredible work. Fire spirits go down. Oh, okay then. Not the best of plays there, but oh, no, 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 no. Come on, take out the bandit there. Good. The bandit does go down. Um, Here comes a princess. The gang should be able to stab that princess down pretty quickly. Good job, gang. Uh, and now we're gonna stick that uh, lava hound in the back corner. Here comes a hog. Get ready for it. Tesla incoming. Um, okay, just come on. Play the hog rider. I dare you. Come on. Okay, he's playing there. We got a good value. Yeah, you, you lightning spell that one. Good. Come on, lightning spell that one down. Nice. We're gonna go Tesla. Um, and that should be able to counter everything. We're gonna go lumberjack to absorb fire spirits. And now we're gonna go skeleton army just to kind of take everything out there. Here comes a miner. We're going dropping everything, including the kitchen sink on defense. Um, we're going to be forced to stick a musketeer there so we cannot take out that left tower. I'm so glad we chose the lightning spells for chip damage because we're going to be able to take that left one, no problem. Um, and he's not going to be able to chip us out at all. So we're going to get a great value lightning. Check this one out. Ready, guys? One, two, three. And we're going to take it out with the last musketeer shot. And here comes a miner on to he juked me out onto that left side. Thumbs up. Good luck. And we end up getting the victory. So we're going to do one more quick battle. Um, see if we can get that cannon cart because we're only at 11 minutes and the other ones were like 14. So here we go. Seven wins. One more for the cannon cart. Can we do it or will we lose? This is actually intense because we have to win. I really do want that new cannon cart before it comes out. Okay, so we're going to go get... Okay, ooh, this is good. Mm, giant mini peck is good. Um... Dark Prince, Hog Rider, Hog Rider. They have Double Miner. We have Giant. That's good. I mean, we have Golem. That's really good. Baby Dragon all around. Really good. Wow, look at that. They got Double Miners, Double Dark Princes. Will they get a Double Cannon Cart? Who knows? Um, do I have a Cannon Cart? No, we, we have... Yeah, we do. We have a Cannon Cart. Good. We got that nice defensive Bomb Tower. Super solid. Love that card so much. Um, we're going to go Dark Goblin. Oh, wow. Interesting quick push by him. Uh, come on. Jump, jump, jump. Nice. Um, okay, what can we do here? They're having a large counter push um, on their part. So we're going to have to drop something over here that's going to destroy it all. Um, maybe that will be guards, which is actually well-timed. We're going to stick a bomb tower just kind of in the middle there just to absorb all the stuff, like the mini P.E.K.K.A., um, the cannon cart. Okay, another miner. So we're going to go mini P.E.K.K.A. to take that out. Sadly, the uh, Dark Goblin does get to our tower, but it's only like four shots. So can't really complain about that one too much. Okay, cannon cart should go down pretty quickly to those archers. Um, this isn't good. What do you have to counter that? What do you have to counter that? Fire spirits? Okay, go fire spirits. Come on, fire spirits. Uh, we're going to go ice spirit over here. Wow, the deck we gave him is incredibly annoying. Actually, though, we're going to have to go guards here. And then the cannon cart is going to be pretty clutch there, taking out that dark prince all the way. And then focuses on that princess, which is doing an incredible chip. And we're somehow only down by 300 hit points. Not really sure how that happened. But the cannon cart does actually land us some decent shots on that tower. Baby dragon goes down in a good spot. Uh, come on, ice spirit, please. Ice spirit, we're going to go defensive hog rider onto those miners. So it actually absorbs some of the shots. Um... And then we're going to have to go mini peck or else it's going to shred us. Dude, what are you doing? We dropped those archers. Oh, he should have dropped those archers way earlier. For some reason, he dropped them in the back. And that might have cost us a cannon cart. Ah, oh, that's kind of annoying there. Um, good, good placement on the fire spirits, though. Good timing there. I can give you that. And we're going to have to drop the golem pretty quickly. Golem RG, his deck is really heavy, which is not helping us at the moment. Okay, so now we're going to go dark goblin here. Um... Okay, cannon cart go down to the bomb tower. Um, come on. Okay, good. He's dropped some musketeer, which is going to go down. Um, okay, perfect. And then the bomb tower should finish off his cannon cart and then go down to tank the rest of his troops. Uh, perfect. And so now we're going to go drop ice spirit. Come on, jump towards the dark goblin. Ooh, that's bad. That's going to get some very good value. So now we're going to be forced to drop hog rider and guards. Good. That should be a decent push there. Um, I don't see what he has to defend that. Oh, right. He does have the mini P.E.K.K.A., but we do have a rocket available, um, which I prefer to get value with the rocket, but sometimes you have to just launch it off there. 
um, and pray for it. Okay, good job on the cannon cart prediction. Um, okay, do we have any elixir here? Gotta get those archers down, buddy. Gotta get those archers down right now. Get the archers down or we're gonna lose that tower. Um, that tower is going down. Um, and we gotta get this cannon cart, though. We gotta get the cannon cart. Um, oh, no, no, not looking good. Not looking... No, gotta fireball the other one. Oh, that does not look good, guys. I think we're not gonna get the cannon cart. No! We're so close yet so far. And that is going to be history... No cannon car for us. We went 6-0, and and then we lost 3, and we only got one more win out of that. So, sorry guys, no cannon car, but I might do this challenge some other time. Um, and it's only an epic, so it's not a legendary. It's, it's really okay. Um, we're going to see what we got from the chest, though. Uh, decent rewards. Okay, here we go. Uh, 3,800 gold, 8 gangs. Remember, this was free. First entry, free. 34 a royal giants, a clone. Bats, no legendary because it's not spinning, and 17 giants. No, not bad. Could have been a little bit of a better chest, but hey, you can't win everything, and plus, you have a random opponent, so that is going to wrap this video. If you won the cannon cart, tell me in the comments down below, and I will see you all in the next video.